Righto, today's project. Not quite the world's biggest TV, but 30 years ago this probably would have been. This is a Sony 80 centimeter absolute monster. It weighs 79 kilos, so you can lift it, but only if you're the Lord Humongous from Mad Max or Arnie. Anyway, I'm going to see how quickly in 2023 you can connect up a Atari 2600 to a great big mother monster like this. AR34M36. If you Google the specs on this Sony Trinitron, it will come up as 79 kgs. What a monster. I should say that this was street bounty, which means, yeah, it was from the side of the road. And I happened to see the neighbour that was throwing it out. And I said, hey, you wouldn't have the remote control, would you? And this lovely old lady went inside and said, is this what you're looking for, dear? And I said, it certainly is. But we may as well do a quick run around this TV. You can see that you get S-Video at the front, a headphone jack, and a composite, so you get left and right stereo, and composite video signal there. Got some basic controls on the front. I think the tuning will be via the menu. And then coming around to the back, you've got some component colours at the top with left and right audio, and you've got one, two, three, four composite in, and good old RF. Let's plug this in. I'll plug in the RF at the back, so we've got one RF cable. Take that all the way around the back. There we go. And then we're going to need to go through a tuning process. So, good old trusty Space Invaders. Power that on. Now that's not going to pick that up because that's a video input, which will be one of the extra channels like uh, component, comp composite or S-video. So I've got to go through the search pattern, and I think this is going to be on low frequency. So I'm going to go into go to manual, go to auto program, and we're going to go through. Ah, oh, look at that! That was VLF low. So so it did pick that up almost straight away on very low frequency. So I think what it does it scans all the frequencies, uh, VLF, uh, UHF, and VHF and then it'll put them into memory and then we can go back and scan through to see which ones were picked up all right so there we are got space invaders so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go game reset and look at that we can start playing <coughs> Oh, got him. Hey, I got through a level. All right. So that is how you play Space Invaders on a 30-year-old television.